Leadership and staff at the Indianapolis Museum of Art were called to an emergency meeting today, all in response to the fallout from a job posting referencing the museum's core white audience. Tonight, our Mary Mills shares reaction from the local arts community and now the growing calls for a change in leadership at IMA. Indianapolis Museum of Art President Charles Venable facing increased pressure to step down. I would say to Charles, though, this is a major far part, Charles, and you should resign. John Thompson is a former board president. Something like what just happened at the IMA in this job description set us back, and it does it on an international level. He's talking about the part that called for increasing diversity while maintaining the museum's, quote, traditional core white art audience. Your core, core audience is your audience. While Venable told the New York Times he deeply regrets the choice of words, an open letter calling for his resignation and other changes has drawn nearly 700 signatures. The artist behind it, not surprised. It's overwhelming to see this surge of support. I also know that this is this has been happening. People have been struck by this for a very long time. With the civil unrest this summer, um, we know better, right? Um, and Indianapolis knows better. Mindy Taylor Ross, long active in the arts community, hopes the firestorm serves as a wake up call. That museum, in my opinion, belongs to this community. It doesn't belong to a CEO. It does not belong to a board of trustees. They are managing, managing those things in the public trust, but that museum belongs to the citizens of this community. All right, so that's Mary Mills reporting tonight. We want to let you know that we have now reached out to Newfields and its board for comment, but we have yet to hear back.